Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my 13 inch Apple MacBook Air. This is the latest 2010 model. Now there are two versions of this 13 inch MacBook Air. There's one with 128 gigabytes of flash storage, which is what I've got here. And that's gonna cost you a thousand and ninety nine pounds in the UK. There's also a higher capacity model with 256 gigabytes of flash storage. And that will cost you an additional 250 pounds with an asking price of £1,349. Well, I'm going to be showing you a series of videos with some add-on devices that will increase the storage capacity and save you some money. You might even find them a little bit more useful as well. So this is a little device I put together myself, um, and I'm going to be testing this again on the 13-inch MacBook Air. It's an Icybox IB223 series uh, external hard drive enclosure. So this house, it can house a 2.5 inch serial ATA drive. Now what I've done is, I've actually made a note here, I've installed a Toshiba HDD2H84 hard drive inside this little enclosure and the enclosure itself is going to cost you around about nine or ten pounds so nine or ten quid for a really nice looking external enclosure and inside you get all of the bits and pieces you need plus i've also put a hard drive in here as i mentioned and the hard drive i've installed is going to cost you around about 30 pounds so the total amount for the enclosure and the hard drive is going to come in at around about the 40 pound mark. Now it looks really nice. You do also get a pouch as well with the enclosure and you get a USB 2 cable. Uh, you can obviously use your own one if you've already got one, but this is a nice white matching color. And in the pack, just to let you know, you do also get utility CD. And this was rather a surprise actually. You get this little pack here and this has got like a silicon sort of shock protection sleeve. So you can, once you put your hard drive in here, you can put the sleeve on like so, and it gives it some shock protection. Still got the little cutout on the back for the USB 2 connector, so that's really nice. So let's get this plugged in and tested. So as I say, this is running, if I just pick up that little note I made of the hard drive, a Toshiba, uh, HDD 2H84 uh, MK2565GSX hard drive. Now, on this uh, little hard drive enclosure, you've got an LED at the back, which obviously lights up when you install the hard drive. Uh, sorry, to show activity on the hard drive. And very easy to install as well. And let's get this tested. So I'm gonna run Xbench on here. For those of you who haven't seen my other videos on the MacBook Air. I run uh, Xbench on all of them just to give you a comparison on how this uh, particular hard drive will perform uh, uh, in, in comparison to the internal storage on the MacBook Air. So let's get this up and running. Now I have already tested the internal flash storage on the MacBook Air. Uh, that gave me uh, a maximum uh, read speed of 185.58 megabytes per second and a maximum uh, write speed using 256k blocks of 156.12 megabytes per second so a stunning performance from the internal flash storage uh, I'll also be putting a graphic up on the screen which shows you a normal three and a half inch serial ATA drive and what performance results that achieved as well but using this Toshiba drive in combination with the icy box enclosure is actually performing very well. I've got the results up on the screen here. Now, the uncached write uh, for 4K blocks is 37.39 megabytes per second, so a very respectable score there. And the uncached read uh, at 256K blocks, 33.28 megabytes per second, so a very, very good performance from this icy box enclosure and the Toshiba hard drive. And as I said, you can put together this package, so the enclosure, which is £10, or just under £10, plus the um, 250 gigabyte hard drive 
for under £40, so complete package for under £40. Now, if you compare that to buying the next one up of these MacBook Airs, the 256 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air is going to cost you an additional £250. So you could buy five of these and still have £50 to spare. How cool is that? So save yourself some money, buy the 128 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air and then add some external storage. This is great for storing your, like your iPhoto library and your iTunes library and then just plug it in when you need to access the data. Excellent, excellent performance. Very nice styling on this one as well. That's why I chose this particular enclosure and ultimately very, very cheap. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please do keep coming back to the Geek and Noise channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these tests, showing you how to add external storage to your MacBook Air and save yourself some money. Until next time, have a great day. This video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk for great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support, visit mymemory.co.uk.